everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and thank you so much for joining me on my fluid art channel. I'm a fluid artist right smack dab in the middle of the United States of America in Sioux City, Iowa. And today we're going to be doing a Dutch pour technique. I've been doing a lot of Dutch pours recently and trying to figure out what is my favorite medium mix of uh, paints, what my ratios that I like and I have finally discovered which ones I really enjoy for myself. Every person is different, every artist is different, and I will give you my ratios down below and exactly how I do my mixes. And one ingredient that I won't go away from is the flooding paint or the base paint, and that is the Amsterdam acrylic paints. This has created beautiful cells and I absolutely love it. This will always be the flooding paint or the base paint that I use for my Dutch pours and I'll show you why in this video. Then the other paint that I used in this video is my Arteza colors uh, as well and I just used water as my medium. With all the experimenting I've been doing for Dutch pours, I've discovered that the use of paint and water it's my favorite. And so today, in celebration of fall, I wanted to show you what I created. This right here is the Dutch pour that I created, utilizing gold, reds, browns, greens, all those fall, fall colors. And so if you can see the cells and the lacing that has happened with utilizing the Amsterdam paint, you'll see how you will want to use it too as well. So. If this is the look that you're trying to go for, the paint that I'm using right now is the best for this. So anyway, I've talked enough. Let's get you down the canvas and show you exactly how I make this Fluid Art Dutch Pour fall explosion of color. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna call it, but I, I think it's beautiful. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. All right, well, let's get you down on the canvas. Bye for now. Talk to you soon. Bye. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a fall theme and I have mixed up some white paint, but I don't want it to be white. I want it to be like an off white. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to put um, antique gold, just a few drops in my white paint. So my white paint is Amsterdam paint it is uh, three parts paint to two parts water, and I've already pre-mixed it. So right now I've got about 14 ounces here, and half and half, so about seven ounces in each. I have already put three drops or dollops, um, it's just three squirts, small squirts, of this in this one already. And so we're going to go ahead and mix that and see what color consistency that um, ends up to look like because I really just want kind of like a um, antique white very pale off-white look and I just thought that the antique gold would do that for us so that's the reason why I chose that and then I thought I'd do it side by side so you could see the color difference um, you may or may not be able to see that but there is a slight color difference in there and I'm not quite sure it is off-white enough for me so I'm gonna add some more I'm gonna grab my glasses here right here so I can kind of look a little bit better well, it's not bad I think I'll do so here's my dollops oh that was like almost two so that's one two there's one, there's two, okay. So that was probably an additional four. Compared to white. So let me get a stick here so you can see the differences in color. See, you can kind of see the difference in the color. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's more of an off-white. I really didn't want white-white as my background for this Dutch pour that I'm going to be doing for fall colors. So, so 
since we know we did about seven, I'm going to go ahead and do that in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. way here and again like I said this was already pre-mixed water to Amsterdam white so and then uh, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll mix all these together but I um, want to go ahead and get that in there I need two about 15 ounces worth of this color because I'm going to be doing two 20, 20, 20 by 20s as a part of this project that I'm doing. So here's my paint, three parts paint and two parts water. So let me go ahead and fill this up um, all the way. <clears throat> That's about 15 ounces. Uh, I already used my scale for the other one so I know approximately how many ounces that is. So. Um, and then we're going to pour half of it in here. Oh, my stomach keeps growling on me. And then we'll do seven dollops in each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And this is the Master's Touch Antique Gold. So that's what that one is. All right, so I'm going to probably fast forward to being finished on this. So that way you don't have to watch all the way through this. You can just watch me paint, have fun with that. But a lot of people like to know what your consistencies are and what your paint colors are so I wanted to make sure I had that opportunity for this one and again I want it to be consistent so that's the reason why even though I mixed them in two different cups I'm going to add them together and then pour them all in here mixing them together so that way you have a consistent color as your background especially if you're using different colors. Okay, so I've got those two now. Now I'm gonna take my other one that I had off to the side, put half of it in there, half of it in there. And let's mix it again. I'm just making sure the reason why I'm pouring them back into each other right now is I just want to make sure I don't have any like blobs of gold in here that I don't didn't see or didn't get mixed up. So that was that's the reason why I keep going back and forth. So I just really want to make sure. Now the consistency of the paint is it goes straight into my cup. So I lift my stick off about an inch off of here and it just runs directly right back into the paint. There is no mound on top. So hopefully you can see that. Um, I might, I'll get you in closer so you can see it. I'll show you a close up of it. So let's get you zoomed in here. Other direction, there. Okay, so. Oh, wrong way. Gotta come a little closer. All right, so you take your, your stick and you just lift it about an inch off and it just runs directly in. This is what's the consistency you want for a Dutch pour. Okay, all right, I'll be back in a moment. All right, everybody, I'm back. Um, I've already put down um, a little bit of my background and um, so I kind of came up here on the last one. I'm going to do the same thing so that it kind of goes together. Um, and then I'm going to hide some of this gold that keeps kind of popping through. Now this one I shook up a little bit more. You can see there's a ton of air bubbles. And so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those to the best of my ability using my torch. Oh, 
porch is driving me freaking nuts. I'm not sure why it keeps doing that. I don't shake the propane tank as much. I don't know. It seems to be doing better now. Okay. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, I don't like it at all. <laughs> so, now I'm going to do my paints again. Here is the bronze. Here is the yellow okra. Here is the pearl deep brown. Here is the phthalo green. Here is the pearl marmalade. Whoa, pearl marmalade. And the crimson red. I'm going to put a little bit of this. I already have a little bit on the sides, but I'm going to put a little bit more, especially right here. See, it's pretty thin through there. And we're going to flood it, which means you take the white paint or the uh, base paint over top. I'm going to flood it. You can see how this um, Amsterdam white, just the cells that come from it, it's just, I love it. So, okay, I'm gonna torch one more time. Uh. And then I'm gonna blow it out. Okay. This one seems much more fall. Maybe I put the colors in a different order, but um, I've got to clean up some of this area over here that it's splattered. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit down here. Yeah, this one looks much more fall. has more brown in it, I think. Okay.
this one I didn't leave near as much white space as I wanted to. It's starting to get muddy. Working it too much. Frog on it. really wanted more negative space. Let's see how it turns out. All colors though. I really like this one. In the sense of the color, I really like the color. What do you think? Okay, this, because this is going to show, I know it, so let's find some. It was ribbed from the brush. And that's what I meant by it was going to show the texture there. So. All right. I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and go put it in my drying spot. I love this one too. Uh, I like the fall colors. It's really pretty with the cells that are popping up. And um, I don't think I need to torch it again. Well, maybe I'll torch it one more time. It's barely going across the top. Making sure all those bubbles are gone. Okay. Love it. Bye for now.
Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and welcome to the Art of Leadership. No, that's my other channel. <sighs> Thanks for watching and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.